Hey, good morning, everybody. Today is Tuesday, May 19th, 2015. My name is Cliff Backus. I am the Chief Market Strategist for Push Button Stock Trading, and this is your daily video market review. After a feeble start, markets finished broadly higher on weaker volume Monday. The IBD 50 easily outperformed both the NASDAQ and the S&P 500, indicating that leading issues may be resuming a, leading, a leadership role in this market. The market's in a confirmed uptrend, and our one to six month timing model is on a margin signal on the NASDAQ, the S&P 500, and the IBD 8585. It remains on an aggressive buy rating on the IBD 50. The IBD 50 is the index that best reflects the leading stocks in the market. And it's worth noting that it's the only index we follow that hasn't gone to a margin signal yet. Large caps edged small caps on Monday and continue to outperform on a 10-day moving average basis. This is a little out of character for the confirmed uptrend. Since early last year, during market corrections, large caps have outperformed small caps on a 10-day moving average basis, but small caps have outperformed during uptrends. The fact that large caps are still leading is also worth noting. Meanwhile, the McClellan oscillator for the New York Stock Exchange has turned bullish. The McClellan oscillator utilizes advanced decline data on the New York Stock Exchange to issue overbought, oversold indicators. When the oscillator crosses above the zero line, goes positive, as it did last week, it's typically a good time to buy. During the confirmed uptrend, we'll continue to watch for industry group rotation because we want to know where the power in the market is. So let's see where the strength in the market is rotating to. What we're looking at is the HGSI High Growth Stock Investors universe of 8,200 stocks. We'll filter that universe by stocks and groups moving to the upside. We'll take the top 101 stocks moving to the upside and we'll import them into our Spectrum Analyzer. We'll sort the Spectrum Analyzer by industry groups. And what the Spectrum Analyzer does is it gives us a snapshot of where the power was in the market yesterday. Um, by identifying the power in the market on a daily basis, we can begin to identify where the market's rotating to. And yesterday, we saw strength in semiconductor devices, biotech, specialty pharma, managed care, and healthcare facilities. Let's drill up a level. We'll sort this by major industry groups. We see that yesterday the power in the market was in biotech and pharmaceutical, semiconductors, healthcare facilities, retail discretionary, and software. Let's start today by taking a look at the Russell 2000. The Russell 2000 yesterday was up 13.57 points, or 1.09%. Thoroughly trounced the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ composite. Also closed at the very top of its trading range. But what I really wanted to take a look at here, besides the fact that the Russell 2000 was the best performing index yesterday, was this trend line. We see this trend line that had been support. When the Russell broke below that trend line back in April of this year and found support down here in the 1206 area, this trend line now becomes resistance. And so it'll be interesting to see if we're able to break back above that trend line and reestablish it as support. For right now, um, the market may be at an inflection point. Certainly this injects a, a note of caution into the market. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ composite. NASDAQ composite yesterday was up 30.15 points or 0.6%. NASDAQ closed near the top of its daily trading range, which makes the bulls happy. Right now, the NASDAQ is bracketed by support down here in the 4811 area, and let's call resistance up here at the 
prior record high set all the way back in March of 2000. We have this level of resistance that the NASDAQ seems to have taken out, although I, I would like to watch this area for a, another couple of days. Right now on our one to six month timing model, we are showing a margin signal on the NASDAQ. For you followers of William O'Neill, we are in a confirmed uptrend. Trading volume yesterday was a little bit below the prior day. Bulls would have preferred on an up day to see a little bit heavier trading volume. But it's not unusual for volume on Monday to be a little bit below the Friday level, especially when Friday is options expiration. Let's take a look at the S&P 500. The S&P 500 yesterday was up 6.47 points or 0.3% close toward the top of its trading range and seems to have taken out resistance up here in the 2120 area. This is a new all-time closing high for the S&P and we'll see if the S&P can, can hold above this resistance area which would then become support. Right now we're calling support 2040 on the S&P. Yesterday the S&P 500 went to a margin signal on our one to six month timing model. And the S&P 500 is also in a confirmed uptrend. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I want to go back to the high growth stock investors warehouse. I want to drill down and take a look at our universal watch list for this week. This is our universal watch list. We have 77 securities on the watch list this week. And what I want to do is I want to filter these by pocket pivots. What we're looking at here are all of the stocks from our universal watch list that showed pocket pivots yesterday. Some of these pocket pivots are more significant than others, but let's go through and take a look at them. The first stock on our list is Ligon Pharmaceuticals. Umbrella, NOAA Holdings. I'm going to take a look at Skyworks Solutions. Skyworks Solutions is the industry's leading wireless semiconductor company focused on radio frequency and complete semiconductor system solutions for mobile communications applications. It's stuff that's in your cell phone. Yesterday we had this pocket pivot. You can see that Trading volume was higher yesterday than, it, than any down day in the past 10 trading sessions. And the stock pushed sharply off of its 50-day moving average, its 10-day simple moving average, and its 21-day exponential moving average, and took out this trend line. Aggressive traders can buy Skyworks solutions here. Next, we have Alaska Air Group. Same story. Pocket pivot. We traded higher trading volume yesterday than any down day in the past 10 trading sessions. Alaska Air is putting in this flat base right here. We took out trend line resistance yesterday, and Alaska Air can also be bought by aggressive traders here. Continuing on, see Vasco Data, which we've talked about in the past. Putting in this cup and handle base might be a good place to buy. We prefer to see pocket pivots finding support at significant moving average levels or breaking through significant moving average levels and or breaking out above some form of resistance. We don't see any of that in Vasco securities today, but it is worth keeping an eye on this cup and handle base in Vasco with this pivot point right here in the 28-ish area. MACOM Technology Holdings provides analog semiconductor solutions for use in wireless and wireline applications across the radio frequency, microwave, and millimeter wave spectrum. You can see that we had a pocket pivot, traded higher volume than any down day in the past 10 days. We broke up through the 10-day simple moving average and 50-day moving average yesterday. You may want to take a look at MACOM here. Service Master, we've talked about a little bit in the past. Mellanox. Satiro. Cirrus Logic. Synaptics had a great day yesterday. Greenbrier Companies. 
putting in a little bit of a trend line here. May be worth watching for a breakout. Cuervo had a great day yesterday on heavy volume. Actually broke out of a cup and handle base right here. That's about all I have for today. If you want to talk about any of the stocks that we've talked about, any of our market strategies, please feel free to give me a call, drop me an email, or make an appointment, come by the office, see what we're up to. If you're out of the area, we can set up a Skype session. A reminder, if you've not already done so, please take a minute to go to our subscription page and subscribe to Push Button Stock Trading. You can also follow us on Twitter at Push Button Stock. Again, my name is Cliff Backus. That's your daily video market review. Have a safe and profitable day. Keep your stops in place and I will see you again tomorrow. Please stay tuned for our important disclaimers. All the best. Disclaimers. Push button stock trading video market review is produced and edited by Clifford B. Backus. Mr. Backus is a senior vice president of investments, technical analyst, portfolio manager, and partner with the investment firm of O'Hanison Liqueurs Incorporated. Video market review is produced solely for the benefit of our clients, friends, and colleagues. Anything written, stolen, and or plagiarized in this publication is done without malice. Further, the analysis and opinions expressed in this publication are strictly those of the editor and not of O'Hanison Liqueurs Incorporated, its affiliates, subsidiaries, or any of the officers or employees of O'Hanison Liqueurs Inc. On that note, we submit the following. The analysis calculations and evaluations presented herein are based on data and assumptions O'Hanison Liqueurs Incorporated believes to be accurate. O'Hanison Liqueurs Incorporated makes no representation that such analysis or calculations are accurate or that such valuations represent levels at which actual trades may occur. This report has been prepared from original sources, except where otherwise noted, and data we believe to be reliable. O'Hanison Liqueurs Inc., its affiliates and subsidiaries and or their officers and employees or their families may from time to time acquire, hold, or sell a position in the securities mentioned herein. Moreover, opinions may differ from one entity to the next. If we are used in connection with the purchase or sale of any security discussed in this report, we may act as principal for our own account or as agent for both the buyer and the seller. Push button stock trading is dedicated to the education of friends, clients, and paid subscribers. Push button stock trading is an information service only. The information provided herein is not to be construed as an offer to buy or sell stocks of any kind. Push button stock trading is created to aid subscribers in making informed investment decisions based wholly or in part on technical analysis. It's possible that at this time or some subsequent date, the editors of push button stock trading may own, buy, or sell the investments presented. All investors should consult a qualified professional before making any investment. The information provided has been obtained from sources deemed to be reliable, but it is not guaranteed as to the accuracy or completeness. The editors of push button stock trading make every effort to provide timely information to subscribers but cannot guarantee specific delivery times due to factors beyond our control.